the CKDJ Broadcasting Studio, behind the bookshelf with the bust of Stan Lee, the Y Fighters join forces to bring you the hottest news from around the geeky underworld. CKDJ presents Alex Richardson, Jeff Baxo, Nathan Coffin, and CC Lee as the Y Fighters. You're listening to the Y Fighters on CKDJ 1079. Alex Rich, what did you think? Uh, that was my first time hearing the intro. That was a 10 out of 10. 10, 10, 10 stars. I'll, uh, <laughs> Very impressed. I'll recite it to you uh, later tonight oh, if you want. Perfect. Anyway, so I'm Nathan Coffin, one of your co-hosts tonight. Uh, over here we have... I'm CC Lee, and uh, then we have... Alex Rich, that's me. <laughs> and I'm Jeff Baxo. <laughs> And uh, pretty much this is just like a really geeky, nerdy show that we would like to present to you all because we're really geeky, nerdy people. Mm -hmm. Why not share the nerd love, as it were? Um, So first (laughs) off, we're going to start with some uh, gaming news. And uh, who wants to start first? Oh, you know what? I have the best news. The best possible news. Well, if you say so, that's a big statement there. What is it, Nathan? Well, hold on. (laughs) You forgot to add my uh, extra clause there. It's, uh, It's only if you like Sony. Oh, okay. Ooh, well, okay. Okay, well, at least I like Sony, so there's that. All right, so it looks like your PlayStation 4 will have an app. There's an app for that? Yes, there is an app for that. What and kind of app is it? Released. It is this, I guess you could say it's more like a mainframe. I guess, no, no, more like a database where you can store all your account information. The cloud thingamajigger. Yeah, cloud thingamajigger. Cloud for PlayStation. Anyways, you can uh, download it on your iOS, your Android, and uh, basically gives you... Uh, an interface that you can interact with any of your three current generation, or I guess next generation two, uh, Sony consoles. Uh, it'll let you browse through the PlayStation Network wherever you want, whenever you want, or you know if you want to go on the official website for some reason, you probably won't. And you'll also be able to uh, spectate other players' games if they're on your friends list, which is probably like the coolest thing I found. And about somewhat this. creepy. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know what? I don't really want people to watch me play with Dragon's Crown, though. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't really want to watch uh, people play games or let people watch me play games because I generally like to play in my underwear. I figure, well, no, it's not like they're watching you. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I like people watching me in my underpants, all right? So. Okay, well, we all know what Jeff likes now. Thanks mm-hmm. for that lovely mental image. What can I say? This is going to be big for the uh, Call of Duty kids, you know? Yeah. That's so true. They're going to be sending people, you control, and all your friends can see it. Yeah, I don't mind. Live. <laughs> no, right. it, it's, you know, on the random notes where, let's say I'm not in my underpants and I'm in my house coat. <laughs> Who knows? Chances. Like house coat as in house coat or house coat as in trench coat? We're just saying house coat. Okay, fine then. It's more like bathrobe. Yeah. I, I don't have one of those. Oh, I, I used You to. need one. Okay, get back on topic. Back on topic, yes. Right. Gaming news. Ha! Well, I have... You can return to Rapture with Bioshock's, uh, well, Bioshock Infinite's new Finally, DLC coming Finally, we're getting That's back right. to Rapture. It's coming back in a big way this November, a.k.a. the 12th of November. Ooh. Anyways, it's actually returning to the original city where it all began. And it, you can actually see the city as it was rather than the dilapidated dystopia that, well... You originally met it in. So we're seeing it in its utopia form? In the heyday, yes. Oh, interesting. That doesn't sound too fun, though. Yeah, I, I kind of like the uh, dystopia kind of feel to it. But it's going to go down. Are so. we still going to have Little Sisters, or what? Yes, what's we happening are. With that? That's good. It's oh. kind of like a detective. You know the detective books that you know were in the 1940s? Sherlock oh, okay. Holmes? I was going to say like, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, that like, is that what old. we're talking that's about? That's 1800s, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> a little off. too soon. No, we're talking like. Ooh, like private inge- investigator ones. Like noir films or something? Noir like? films, thank you. I couldn't oh think of the God. word. It's exactly like that. I, I'm stoked for it. Alex, what you got? I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> <laughs> That's boy. all. That's all. We, we more or less meant what do you have for uh, gaming news? Nothing? All right. Well, um, for gaming news, I have uh, Batman Arkham Origins, which just came out yesterday. And yeah. uh, it was it was pretty exciting. Um, I haven't actually played it yet, but I'm looking forward to playing it. And I know all of you Batman fans out there are probably looking forward to playing it. I mean, the graphics look amazing, for one. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you have seen the game trailer, but uh, it's pretty intense. And if you're a Bat fan, we've got a segment later that you might enjoy if you're one. If you're uh, still listening. But if you're not, that's okay, because I'll just go cry myself to sleep in a corner. Mm, it's okay, Sierra. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, all right, if you say so. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to the tech news. Tech news, oh gosh. Tech news, all right. We got a bunch of random crazy stuff coming up going in this world, you know? So, uh, does anybody remember the old James Bond movie? Yes. Yeah, all cars. Back when there was gadgets? Oh, yeah. Oh, though, I am very reminiscent of those days. Uh, now you're making me all nostalgic, thinking well, about... They're building the James Bond submarine car. Are you, what? How much is it going to cost? Brother, say what now? And can I ride it? Yeah. Can I can I hitch a ride in it? Can I steal it? It'll probably be only for billionaires. Oh. Uh, well, uh, Batman, we're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the prototypes, but I would expect uh, this is going to blow up. So everybody be ready. Yeah. Like blow up, literally blow I, up? Because <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. No. It'll probably, probably blow up. Oh, There's always yeah, the yeah. prototype. But um, just, let's just hope it's not a Ford. Oh, ow, ow, Ford. What? Ford, painful, painful. I wish I knew cars so I could be offended, but, uh, you know what, whatever. <laughs> well, I don't even know where to go from there. What, <laughs> what else do you have for us, Alex? Well, um, forget about the old Apple spaceship HQ, if anybody has uh, been hearing about that, but Amazon is building a, a sphere dome database. It, like a bubble? Yeah, it's a, a bubble, a giant building. Does it move? Uh, no. Oh. Is, well, I'm, I'm out. Is it I have a question. <laughs> uh, is it going to help Amazon actually get deliveries on time for, uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> for the... Uh, is there more than one door is what he's saying? And uh, next week we, we get a letter from Amazon telling us not to ever mention their products again. And it's on time. Yeah. I'm never <laughs> on time. So, uh, so do you know if it's uh, going to make things on time, Alex? Uh, I'm getting uh, getting a message from uh, Amazon HQ right now. Okay. Uh, they said we can't release anything at this time. Ah. Uh. Uh, they'll get back to you in uh, four to six weeks. Before we move on, I just want to know: it, does it say anything about what it's going to do, or is it just a big? It's, it's just uh, a giant dome. Be holding all their data, it's essentially going to be uh, this new building that they're going to. So it's a of. giant memory stick in the shape of a bubble. Yes, yes. So it's, it's a bubble a memory glass, stick. I presume. And so it's a bubble stick. It's a bubble stick. Ah. But it doesn't move, which but makes me disappointed. I was hoping it'd be more like a, you know, moving, functioning island that just walks around. I thought it was You're a water. sentient bubble? Yeah, you know. What about what else you got for us, Alex? Well, there's, there's, no, there's not going to be curtains on this thing. So. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, it's a real so is, is it made out of, like, completely, and, like, is it just glass? Like, what? Yeah, it's uh, pretty You're, much just, Alex is looking at a picture right now, so. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, I'm looking at this picture, and you can just picture a soccer ball that, you know, with all the little... Little, uh, Instead of black dots, it. yeah. uh, I think it's hexagon. So what you're telling me is it's a complete and utter waste of money. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Excellent. Uh, uh, no. let, let's go on to next. Like everything what, what else you have? <laughs> on Amazon. Are you looking on Amazon right now? <laughs> well, he's trying to order a, you know, a bubble. No, Pokemon X and Y. Still. Oh, still? No. Eat Pokemon. It. Yeah, you so, wish. Pokemon? Okay, moving on. Seriously, next tech. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Google Google is also doing the same thing, except they... What is this? Yes, they're building a giant floating data center. Does that one move? Yes. <gasps> is it floating in the air? Uh, yes it is. <gasps> so it's like a balloon. It's, it's, uh, it's essentially, over, it's over water. So it's... You know, liquidized I'm air. I'm still not understanding <laughs> what the purpose well, is. Well, now it, now you got your island. Yeah. I have my island. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Google's but what, what's the purpose? Like piracy. <sighs> Google's becoming pirates. Clearly. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that's. They're just surfing great. the interwebs. Yeah. So those, are the, those are the three wacky <laughs> things that are, uh, are being built by engineers right now. You know. Uh, I want to borrow good sir. money that we give Google by searching. Uh, all that wacky stuff we search for. And mm. They build a pirate ship. Yeah, and so they can build giant USBs that float in the water. <laughs> and bond cars. Such a waste of money. So if Google, like, gets... If, if, the, if the Google HQ gets attacked, they'll have their 
floating cloud city fortress, so they'll be fine. And uh, let me get this straight. Is the U.S. still wondering why they have such a big deficit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're clueless. To <laughs> I thought Google was its own country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is, Nathan. Just Google like is its own country. That's well, why they have a floating city in the sky. Well, at this point, it really could be, you know, its own flipping country. Do we know what ocean this is over? Is it over the Pacific, the Atlantic? What's Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. like Clearly, that would be so awesome. That would make me question a lot of things. A lot. a lot. I don't know. It would answer a lot of San things. San Francisco. That's that was where my it's ID. It's over San Francisco. Yeah, so. Wow, so no one's going to want to go over there to get it. All right, yeah. perfect. <laughs> okay. San Francisco. <laughs> wow. Just, uh, yes. just wow. <laughs> well, I don't even know how to top uh, uh, those but randomnesses. Do you got anything else on the radar? Or, no, or? Those, are, uh, those are my three wacky uh, those were very wacky tech news. Ooh, I'm, I'm you, glad Mama. we took the time to think about those things. I, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> While you, I'm just trying those. to lighten the mood, Nathan. <laughs> I will never know joy again. Okay. Okay, anyways, right. So that was Nathan's Batman moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nobody ever has an Iron Man moment. No. Uh, it's because uh, I'm too busy being drunk out of my... Mm, out of his mind. gizzard. I'm just going to say that word. Thanks, Tony Stark. You just made me feel really inadequate. Aw. Aw. Okay. To be fair, you know, he always does that with everybody. Tries to one-up everyone he comes across. Well, guys, let's stop trying to take pot shots at each other until later, please. I was making a pot shot. (laughs) We're going to move on to game reviews now. Yeah. Um, Going back to our little gaming gaming lives because mm-hmm. we all play so many video games even though we're in college and we have no time for them of i course. always no 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 don't say that because i <laughs> i always find time for video games <laughs> um specifically actually I, I got a game that i was been playing i've been playing for like a week now probably and i've I, seen uh, him play this game for like a week <laughs> I've, I've been playing this game in front of everybody right now so uh it, the game is actually um i feel like you need a drum roll Pokemon X and Y. Yeah! Yay! Yay! All right. No, That's but... Pokemon. Um, it, What's a Pokemon? I, yeah. Alex, just mm-hmm. for shame, mm-hmm. for shame, as you wear the Pokemon hat. Don't be acting that. You got the Don't Ash be acting catch that him cool. hat. I will. Get um, will you catch them all, <laughs> Alex? Will you catch them all? I already caught them all. Oh, oh okay. Fine. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still on. Uh, fine. All these uh, new French Pokemon. French Pokemon? Apparently, we'll Fleur bébé. The new region supposed to be based off French. Well, Ka- man, region. you want to know more about it? Because I have the review right here. Yeah, I would I love to hear about here. it. Let's take us away. Let's let Nathan Jedi talk about this for for just a minute here. Okay, all right. So uh, I love Pokemon, along with my buddy Rich over there. And, uh, you know, actually a few things have happened that we can get into later that uh, have really exemplified this love for Pokemon. But, uh, the bonds of friendship? The, <laughs> oh, yeah. Friendship, right. Friendship. That thing we all is. have. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, Pokemon is something that all of us here remember very fondly. Uh, new generations over the times have been adding uh, fewer and fewer Pokemon, I think. Actually, no, no, or maybe. Pokemon that make absolutely no sense and well, have man, no creativity. Don't talk, uh, don't, 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 talk, don't talk crap about all my keyring Pokemon. <laughs> in any case, uh, they only added 69 Pokemon this generation. Only uh, 69. But, uh, whoa, whoa, guys. They they added a whole bunch of Pokemon from uh, past generations so that you kind of still have that, oh, hey, look, I remember this. Or I remember this useless piece of crap right here. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's a rock. Thanks to you, dude. <laughs> in any case. Uh, I think it's called a geode. But, uh, <laughs> well, no. Cause, uh, all right. The oh, what's that other Pokemon? Vanilla Like, it's a, it's a vanilla, vanilla ice the, cream cone? The ice cream cone Pokemon. And then when it evolves, it turns into two ice cream cones. And then when it evolves again, it's three ice cream cones, guys. It should turn into a banana split. Way to satisfy your summer. Look! Okay, stop <laughs> taking... Oh, my God. Make me so mad. Hot shots coming everywhere today. <laughs> okay, so they do still have a really big uh, Pokedex before you beat the whole game. But, uh, honestly... I'm just going to get into the pros here. Uh, the The world is interesting. I love Kalos. Kalos is the name of the new place uh, based on France, as uh, Rich mentioned. And honestly, uh, I was reading some interviews, and they did actually go to the um, that country that they are talking about. What is it called? I don't know. It starts with an F. Uh, France. Right. Uh, so they actually went to France to get some uh, 
inspiration from the local architect. From, ooh la la. Well, yeah, ooh la la. They got uh, their main city, Lumios, is uh, based on Paris, of course, you can see. Because um, one thing they said... Is there an Eiffel Tower in Yeah, it? there is. It's oh. the, it's I believe the it's pronounced the... Lumois. <laughs> Actually, no, because the I comes no, before the no. L. I didn't, no. I haven't read it. I was just... So they're adding a cultural aspect to Pokemon. Well, they were adding a cultural aspect since, like, Pokemon Black and White, which it's is so based true. off uh, New York. Um, really? Yeah, interesting fact if you didn't know that. No, um, especially considering the, the last one. The more you know. The more you know. Um, is there a cheese shop? A cheese yeah, shop? Not a cheese is shop. that really your only question, yeah, if Alex? You can't let your Pikachu hold blue cheese. That's a special attack. With the beret uh, on his head. Pikachu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did, did they bring like a uh, you know like Poco pictures back where you can take pictures with yeah. your Pokemon? Oh yeah, no, you can take pictures with your Pokemon. You could actually take a video, a ten second clip of your uh, your trainer, and uh, there are some really interesting videos you can get out of that. Uh, I, I've gotten a few from my friends that were just like, why would you ever videotape this? And don't How long worry about it. did it take before you photoshopped your own face? The <laughs> uh, <laughs> it didn't take long. I, I found one and I was just like, this is me. And it was a flabebe. And it's, oh my What's God. a flabebe? Oh my God. Can you describe a flabebe to me? <laughs> yes, please. I'm really fascinated to know what this is. The last Pokemon game I played <laughs> was blue. I really want to know what it looks like. Like, like how, like, is it like. It's this, okay, it's a Pokemon that rides on a flower that actually gets blown in the wind. It's a fairy type, new type that they added. Um, fairy types. A really interesting looking Pokemon in, or with, uh, you know, parentheses in interesting. It's not really yeah. interesting. But um I think it's neat. No, they did actually add a lot of really cool uh, Pokemon designs. There's one that's a haunted sword and I know There's like, supposedly a, few... a new Eevee evolution. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I don't even remember its name, but it's a fairy type and it, apparently it's got fleshy ribbons growing out of its head that it can like tit That touch sounds you, which... uh grotesque and cute at the same time. I <laughs> I would probably be scared for life. I'm not sure what to do about that. Why don't we have these Pokémon in real life? Why hasn't anyone done this? I don't know. There should be a scientist out there working 24/7 I just to make Pokémon. There's probably are right now is. since they've been cloning sheep since about what the 80s, 90s. I okay, but cloning remember. sheep is one thing. Making Pokemon is an entirely different thing. It's baby te- baby and steps. Let's just continue <laughs> on with this review. I'm not even in the beat of it here. <laughs> Talking about cloning. And wow, we got way cream. off the head. <laughs> so off topic here. Okay. Right, so interesting, vast world. I really liked exploring it. I really did. And they made it really, really easy because they made it eight directional if you're only using the D-pad. And if you get the rollerblades, it's... Oh my God! You can move in any direction. So it's not running want. shoes anymore. Well, you you can still run. What about what happened to the bicycle? You get the bicycle. Okay, you well just, you just get it later. When did we get rollerblades? Is this this is new? This is France. Okay. <laughs> Do they rollerblade in France all there the time? Are, there are three things about France I've learned from Pokemon X and Y. Okay. There are. There are cafes on every single street. Makes sense. There are people who dress up really, really flashy and try to take over the world, and there are very. Very, very opinionated people that want to kill everything so that everyone can live in peace. And you know, it's just like, oh, that, hey, uh, big bad guy. That doesn't really make do they, any uh, sense. Do they surrender mid uh, Pokemon battle. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Actually, I think a few of them do. Uh, but you know, I don't know. I think. We're going to get an angry letter from the French government soon. <laughs> Just like that angry letter like from anyone, Amazon. Like anyone from France is going to be listening to us. We're you too English. You, you say this know. now, but then Amazon, it's going to come in from them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, another thing they really, like, it was just a brilliant idea. Uh, I actually have a few competitive friends uh, who play Pokemon, who are probably a little more disappointed that it became so easy. But uh, the whole number crunching aspect that most people don't uh, expect, uh, they added onto. And uh, like it, it's a lot easier now. you got little mini games you can play. And so you're talking about like stats? You or? Can pr- yeah, you can like you can stat crunch. You can basically min-max your Pokemon now a lot easier than before. So, so, anyways, so final verdict? Uh, I love the game. Uh, my rating system right now is uh, out of electrical sheep. And I give it 9 out of 10, the Reaps. Ooh, Bam. more reviews after this. Welcome back to Y Fighters. Ooh, yeah. Part 2. Part dun, dun, dun. Two. I'm Jeff. I'm CeCe Lee. I am Nate. 
And the other guy is Alex Rich. Yes! Ooh, yes who's got a working right microphone, now. finally. Hey. Look at that. Oh. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going up. I'm going places. You know, yeah. Microphones are working. I'm so proud of you. Great co-stars. Oh, premiere yeah. of a fabulous show. Mm-hmm. Such everybody yes, will man. be listening to every Saturday. <clears throat> anyway, as I promised before the musical break, another review is right now. Lego Marvel, for all you fans of the Legoness. And, and marvelness. marvelness. Oh, boy. <laughs> the marvelousness, if you will. It's clobbering time. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to say that. Anyways, uh, so, so, you're a fan of both. This is the game for you. There's a, over 150 characters featured in it. 150. This is the whole yeah. Marvel Universe in Lego? It's the Pokemon game of the Marvel Universe, people. <laughs> no, Whoa. no, no, no. You yeah. can catch them all. <laughs> yeah, do you, have to, like, do you have to, like, earn your characters? I assume so. Yes, you do. You're given a couple throughout the storyline, but you do have to unlock them as you go. In fact, who, who do you start with? You start with actually Iron Man ah. and the Hulk. Interesting. And then as the story goes, you get all the Fantastic Four. Oh yeah. And some X Men, which is pretty cool. I do like the X Men. But the best, the pied de resistance, if you will, of all the characters you can unlock is the man himself, Stan Lee. You, you can, can unlock look. Stan Lee. What's his and power? Yeah, he's immortal. He, he can be the Hulk, Wolverine, <laughs> Spider Man, and oh, I can't remember the last power to save my life. Let's just say he's got telekinesis. I so really... he, he turns into characters he's created. He just speaking. is Stan Lee. Oh, I, I just he makes wish. children I happy. I, I thought I was going to be right with. Uh, he <laughs> oh, just stands oh. in the background, and gets noticed by the uh, camera too too often. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. Because you can't stop staring at his face. Well, no, I can't. He's the man. (laughs) I mean, like, I'd stare at that guy's face intently for, like, hours on end. I always do. That's just me. See? I I just really like Stan Lee. Anyways, Deadpool is actually featured as the unlockable guide. So he guides you through getting unlockables as little jokes and whatnot and the side missions. It's hilarious. So, um... He busts a move in Lego form. Jeff, what is the premise of the story, though? Are you simply <laughs> supposed to travel through the multiverse of Marvel, or what, 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 what well, are you Well, it's doing? a bit of that. It's a lot of that, actually. You do go through... The uh, game is based out of Manhattan, but uh, the Marvel Universe Manhattan. Okay. You actually do visit the Baxter Building, Daily Bugle, Stark Tower, the Shields spaceship... Sorry, airship, not spaceship. There you go. But the cool thing is they actually do have a Marvel HQ, as in the place where all the comics are actually written, huh. which is pretty cool. And the game follows, you know, world is in peril, thanks to, and this is not a spoiler alert because it's pretty much said in the first you know, two seconds of the game starting, Although if it uh, if you feel like you're going to be spoiled, just spoil alert, spoil yeah. alert, like yeah, right. okay. Plug your ears okay. and scream la 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 for the next two seconds. Galactus is coming to Earth. Of course, it's Galactus. Mm-hmm. He's, so he's coming to eat our Earth. Yes. Ah. The world of our. I love well. that guy. <laughs> and they actually show him. Alex. Um, hey, he's a stand-up dude. He came to my wedding. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, okay. Well, why wasn't I invited? He ate a lot one? of cake. Oh, this, is, this is the third one. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. uh, fourth one. I guess I'll be there. Yeah, you'll be there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Moving, like yeah, going, going like back. The puns. <laughs> but yes, so they he, actually he's show come him. to devour our world, mm-hmm. and they show him as the classic, car- the comic book version that we all know and love, not the giant cloud monster. You know, I just met him just a few weeks ago at a oh, con. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's doing well. He's uh, shorter than I expected. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> he's, he's lost some weight, too. I, I, I don't think he's eating enough. He's been on a mm-hmm. diet lately. Yeah, not eating enough planets. The funniest part of the game is, though, that they blend the comic lore and the movie. Oh. Yeah, so it's kind of that two-for-one deal. I, yep. I'd have to say I'm, I'm interested, but I don't know that I'm going to like it. Mm. Well, give it a try. I strongly suggest it. Are you going to give it a try, Jeff? I have given it a try. And do you like I, it? I do. I like it a lot. There's a lot of content. Well, that which, is saying something. You know, it's. I give it a nine out of ten. So and nine. I don't give no, that. No Mareeps or anything. No. Like the only reason no, it's man, a nine that's my is system. okay. Well, I'll just say. <laughs> don't like, be fronted. Come on. <laughs> only reason I give it a nine is because there's minor glitching, but that's nothing a good old you know update patch won't fix. Ah, uh, there are glitches in any game, though. Pretty much. Yeah, that's my verdict. 
Nine out of ten. That seems like a good rating to me. Okay. An Excelsior. Alex, you want to play with me? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, it's like I didn't even have to ask. Yeah, All right, a- right. Apple juice and uh, <laughs> apple juice and uh, we have to be. Do you guys want me to pack bed, you yeah. some lunch boxes? Uh, Yes. No, no. <laughs> no, we're like, Does you Pinocchio guys... have a wooden nose? Come on. Right? So true. Well, no, we're taking shots at Lego Marvel, but honestly, like, I played uh, Lego Star Wars. Oh, yeah. The no. complete saga. Lego honestly. Star Wars was amazing. I can't insult Lego because, you know what? It, it's freaking awesome. No, I don't care. You know what I like best about the Lego games is that when you put stuff together using the Lego, that it actually makes the clicking noise. Yes, you know? it does. It's like click, 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 click. What click, platform click. is this game played on, Jeff? It's cross. Platform. So if you got a PC or five ninety nine, your local Best Buy or what? <laughs> wow! Oh. I mean, oh, future yeah. shop. Just, uh, busting the world's nuts right there. Oh, but uh, <laughs> now it's got the forty nine ninety nine price tag. Ooh. Oh man! Well, it's a Lego yeah. game. And I got a coupon good. too. Lego is very classic. Speaking of classic games, I feel like we should uh, we should move on to our next segment of. Yes. Uh, Nostalgia games. Oh, God. All right. Nostalgia game moments where we bring back good old memories of when we first started. Mm-hmm. Remember Pong? Wow. It was a you, magical time. Wow, that's going way back. That's 73, How much Pong buddy? did you play? I'm not even born yet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> none of us are, actually. Yeah, none of us was And yet we right still then. all enjoyed it, so mm-hmm. that's saying something. Remember like it was yesterday. Yeah. Wasn't it yesterday, Alex? Man's. Were you not playing Pong just yesterday? Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> okay, see, see, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> yep. Okay, Anyways, so uh, for this first one, we're all going to. You know, we're just share. we're just going to tell you about our uh, nostalgia moments of uh, what game in particular got us into gaming in the first place. Wow, that's a that's actually a really good question. Yeah. Uh, are we talking like? Our first taste of it, or our first like, oh yeah, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> we're not talking first taste. We're talking, uh, we're talking the game that really made you want a game for the rest of your life, and you know, absorbed all of your time for about you know a good you know solid year at least. Oh, Cece, what's yours? Um, I have to say that uh, the game that started it all for me was Duck Hunt. Boom! <laughs> yeah, uh, it was uh, it was a, it was an original shooter game, and it was good. It was it was really good, and uh, whoever says it wasn't good should just not talk to me at all. You do you have nightmares with the dog too? Because like... I, I do not have nightmares with that dog. That dog was my friend. Now I have a really important question for you, Sierra. All right, what is it? Did you go for the ducks or the discs? I went for both. She just played, man. Yeah. Sometimes good answer. Gonna... Yeah. That was a test. I was a, I was a top scorer. Oh, follow. Because I personally really enjoyed the discs. Yeah. It, it made it. Because I didn't believe in shooting ducks. You know, I really when I, when ducks I, when okay, I first saw child. the game, guys, though, like I was kind of like, hmm, do I really want to shoot a you know digital duck? And then I was like, I, I rethought about it, and I was like, of course I want to shoot a digital duck. Like, who doesn't want to do that? It's not a real duck. Question, question, question. Um, when you got really mad at the game, did you did you do as all children have told me they did, and like just go right up next to the screen and start like pulling the? Uh, did you quack up? The, like, <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Oh! Well, uh, Go yeah, right. yeah. Go full Rambo on yeah, that. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I got a little angry. Yeah. Well, yeah, no kidding. I got a lot angry, and I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, you know, when I couldn't get the ducks, I just had to get close. To, I have bad eyesight. Okay, that's what it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. And there was that dog, yeah. right? The dog <laughs> by the. <laughs> Holding up uh, whatever what you missed. That? Anyway, <laughs> that was a laugh, sir. Okay, well, duck hunt was just good. Period. Let's well, just say that. Nate, what was it for you? Oh my god. Uh, I was Super Nintendo boy. Uh, the one game that really got me in it, uh, in it to win it was uh, Donkey Kong Country Two. Actually, that Country Two. Donkey Kong. Not even the original Donkey Kong. No. Donkey Kong Country Two. Diddy's Conquest was probably like the shining moment of gaming, where I'm just like, wow! I don't think any platform is going to be as good as that. I kind of got a little uh, excited there. But <laughs> honestly, it is. Oh my god. That's okay, the point. I just, I just remember like all the levels and the music, and the music was so good. And then the beehive <laughs> level. And people didn't like the beehive level. I love the beehive level. I'm pretty sure this was Nathan's entire childhood. I I played that game until I beat it, and I took a good two months. And then uh, when he beat it, he played it again. <gasps> and no. again. No, 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 no. I, I didn't. I I took those two months, and then I said that I don't want to ruin it by going through it and thinking, "Wow, actually, that was really easy." I really enjoy the challenge, and. Um, 
I actually tried playing it recently, and I got pretty far. I think I got to the third world, and I thought, you know what? I... Is this going to get harder from here? And I don't want to. I don't want to spoil that challenge. And you had Pokemon to catch. <laughs> yeah, I had Pokemon to catch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy with this Pokemon. Man, well, sometimes... Pokemon was important. It was very important. Which, Pokemon uh, takes which, precedence. Yeah, um, I was Alex. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about well, your Pokemon experiences? Oh well, my nostalgia Wait, moment. Just... As uh, <laughs> I might come to a shocker, I won't be talking about Pokemon Blue. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. I'm a little disappointed. You got me. I'm just. Uh, I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm sad. <laughs> but, but, okay. Now, I was going to go all the way back to the original Game Boy, the original Nintendo, talk about those games, but what really got me into video games was not playing video games by myself. Because uh-huh. yeah, I loved playing Pokemon and, you know, Duck Hunt alone in my room, you know, whatever. That was a good time. But what really made me want to interact more with the games and my friends is when multiplayer with. Mario Kart N64. Oh, God. Now, th- it would become like a ritual on going, hey, you going to Keith's house this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to Keith's house. Did like, anyone else just have a cheery moment of like how emotional Alex just got about like how he, he loves playing with friends? It was, yeah, it was in his you know, my heart. Like, if I beat. wasn't crushing DK with my uh, toad, <laughs> you know, on the uh, Luigi on circuit. the Bowser level there. Wow. With no, the lava. Now, you remember, you remember the one with the, it was like, with the ghosts and you fall off and the ghosts haunted and, uh, head, the, the haunted one man. The, no the haunted boardwalk right? like uh, that was game was so hard yeah. to play oh my god there's too many courses that was like the multiplayer game to me you it know was. like I remember th- that that, that you lost friends to that game oh yeah no you did how I lost fr- friends how many in friends in total did you game? use to that game all of them yeah, I'd say about wow, all of them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. He has me now. Nah. That's mm-hmm. all he needs. The yeah, close one stuck I'm around. Because I'm not Alex's friend, too. Right? Yeah. Me I'm neither. his best friend. That's true. Whoa. That, that is true. true. Nathan when Coffin did we agree on is this? my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> there, I just hurt. said it on air, okay? I was, Jeff can you. be my best friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Longer, yeah. I'm putting you as my ringtone. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's my nostalgia moment on on uh, Mario Kart. And, you know, I think a lot of people can relate to that. I have a That was a... What? I have a tie. A tie? A tie. A tie. A tie. Oh, a Jeff. Tie I have a tie. Torn. Is it going to make me feel emotional? Because, I don't know, I felt really emotional when Alex just spoke Maybe. about his uh, nostalgia moment. I can For see me, that my opinion doesn't matter. It, one of them <laughs> That's was... That's true, Nathan. <laughs> Jeff. Because I'm not your best friend, man. <laughs> like, you just hurt me right there. <laughs> I'm scorned. Anyways, <laughs> for me, one of them is Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, do, oh, yeah. But, but Jeff, you don't even... You, you, I used to skateboard. Number one? You used to skateboard? <laughs> yeah, when I was younger. I don't strike it as it now, but and, I used and, to. And was, I was that pretty game good at the it, thing actually. that made you want to skateboard? No. Uh, I wanted to skateboard before that because of my brother, but it got me a, into music. That was an awesome soundtrack in the background. Thank exactly. you, Nathan. Yeah, what? <laughs> that was that was really great in the background. Goldfinger? Yeah. You liking that? Superman? Yeah, very nice. Man. The soundtrack actually got me into music. And the Whoa. other choice that I have... Jeff, you're like all about it. I know. I love music, so that's... A- well, it got me into listening better music than Sharon cry. Lewis and Bram. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the other game that I played that probably you know, just blew my mind, the first time I played it was, and it's going to sound so cheesy, but Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, oh my god, why didn't I think no, of that, that one? That was a good game. I loved that game. I think I spent like four months playing that thing, but just so I could just delay it longer, like the inevitable end. Like I slowed down my playing time just so I could play it longer. I think I did that with uh, Spyro. Wow. Spyro was a good game. I only played Spyro uh, some of them. at my friend's house. Some of them were good, but yeah, some, some, were good. Some, of the, some of them were great. Yes. Some of them were great. And, uh, you know, uh, oh, oh, I didn't believe in dragons till I started playing that game. Question and now Jeff. I believe in dragons. Question, yes. Jeff. Uh, when do you think Tony Hawk Pro Skater really went downhill? And I don't mean that in the sense that he just went down the ramp. <laughs> Harsh I'm <question>. saying, <laughs> when did the series get really bad? Ooh, uh, I'm going to have to say, all right, my heart says right after four. Okay. Mm. But my brain says... Well, correction, my heart wants to say after Tony Hawk Underground, but my brain says after four. Uh, 
See, I didn't even play that far, so yeah. I have no idea. I, I would have said three, pro, like Pro Skater Three was like or at the peak. Had a great soundtrack, and, and then Underground was. Reasoning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the thing I don't get about that game is like, how can you guys play a game where you do flips and tricks and on skateboards, but it's virtual, so you're not doing it in real life? I don't. But I did in I real don't. life too. Oh, okay. Well, that teaches fair. kids about physics. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. And that you shouldn't do. So did you? Things did you learn those tricks from the game? No. <laughs> I learned it from falling a lot. Oh. Yeah, Jeff, we see your big twist. <laughs> Do it right now. Oh, yeah. Get your board, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think of it looking at me, but I can actually skateboard. I didn't say you couldn't skateboard. No. Just, I don't strike people as a skateboarder. Can you type. do a thingy? I can do a thingy and What's a, a what thingy? A thingy off the, the railing. Off yeah. the railing thingy? Yeah. Alex? <laughs> I think there's names for these things. <laughs> They're called moves. Yeah, yeah. And are they? Like a yeah, they like are. a kick flip or a I can do Can you that. do a kick flip? I can. Can you do a, a, a 180 Ollie? I don't know. I can. I'm just I'm just <laughs> random names out there. I don't really know what they mean. <laughs> just saying random skateboarding terms. I've heard them somewhere. I'm not sure where, but uh, they're coming out there. Maybe in Tony Hawk Pro Skater with other people in the room. I I've played it by myself. Ah. I was just not very good at it. And that's why you're knocking me for it. Yes. Exactly <laughs> why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Broke that down right there. <laughs> uh, such such good nostalgia moments, honestly. Mm -hmm. And it all made us the people, the gamers that we are today. I, you know what? I actually, um, I miss, I miss dramatic pause. I miss. <sighs> Ah, oh, no, I lost it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so you missed really wasn't something, that good of a game. but so uh, you missed the I thought. Can't remember <laughs> yeah. I miss I miss remembering games really clearly because nowadays it's just like, oh yeah, let's go play some. Uh, I don't know that game that I played once. Uh, call it Call of Duty. Yeah, and now it's just like ah. Uh, yeah, which Call of Duty? I'm kind of busy. I gotta write. Yeah, there's my a lot of Call show. of Duties. You know, we're at that age. You know, it's it, yeah, with duty. We, we look back. We look back when we were five, and video games were were so good at the time. Were they? They were. They were so good. Video games back then, and now you look at them now, and you're like, oh, what bad graphics, what a stupid game. But it's like, man, I don't care. They yeah, we're, were just like harsh critics now. I still yeah. play N64. Oh yeah. There were no load screens. Do, do you still have an N64? <laughs> I yeah, do. there were. Can I come over and play in the N64 sometime? It's not in my apartment. <sighs> I, my hope, I hope you don't have Mario I need Kart to get it because back I really Christmas. respect you, Jeff. And I might. I might still. There's a 50-50 that I still do. All right, well, I'll have to come over and... I'll school you. Strengthen our friendship. I know that I don't have Strengthen Super Strengthen your Smash friendship. I won't be Toad, though. I'll be someone else. Because okay. Toad's like my lucky guy. For no. me, like, whenever I was in a jam in that game, I always went Peach. And for some weird reason, I would always win with Peach. I was you know, what's also, with their uh, names? Yoshi. Yeah, okay, Yoshi but, was my go-to. No, but Yoshi was good because he made that noise. <laughs> like, Wow, you actually liked that noise? <laughs> I thought it was great. I thought it was the most obnoxious sound that I know, that's why I liked it, because everybody thought it was horrible. I just thought it was hilarious. Did you, did you just, like, honk constantly? And then when, I don't know. Wait, what was this? Okay, I know there's a button that you could, like... Make your character say something or like make a noise, and I know that someone would do that every every game. No, that was no, that was <laughs> that was Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, I was, I was like, uh, what are you talking thing. about? I don't remember that. You're button getting at your all. games oh confused. I'm sorry, too many <laughs> Mario's. Is Yoshi considered a dinosaur? Yes, he, he is. No, right? Yeah, he's a turtle he dinosaur. No, he is turtle dinosaur. Okay, they call him a I, dinosaur. But the question I have, like, that really makes me think a lot. Like, I think about this a lot. I think I've contemplated that, like. Does you stay up at ten percent of my life to Can't. this this question. Um, is Yoshi a girl or a boy? Because it lays eggs. Boy. But it lays eggs. Boy. To be like Godzilla. Eggs. Like Godzilla was. It both. lays eggs. Well, clearly, it's not one. It's a slug being, and it <laughs> it's is, a slug being. <laughs> it okay. is asexual, and uh, platypi lay eggs. I don't know. That's true. Platypi do lay eggs, but do male platypi lay yes, eggs? Yes, they do. They do. Uh, Wow, this is like a science class all over again. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting Learn flack. Learn something new. Actually, for, uh, uh, I'm going to say it's a male thing. because there's a pink Yoshi, and that's the girl. So? Right? right? No, it's Birdo. Okay, wrong? that's Actually, just Birdo assuming dude, that color means something. You're saying that a Whoa. pink Yoshi could not be a male Yoshi? Did I just drop a bombshell you on you? You did just drop a bomb on you. Yeah. The pink Yoshi is a dude? No, the one with the circular mouth thing going on, the nose that shoots the eggs out of You know what yeah, that yeah. reminds me that's of, though? Yeah, like, if you think of, like, have you guys ever seen that, like, really old show, Blue's Clues? Yeah. Yes. Y do you know the pink dog magenta is actually a boy? 
it's just get blue. right out of town. No, it's a boy. And blue it's is a, boy. a girl. And blue is a girl. Yeah. 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 I knew blue is a girl. See, Alex knows. Yeah. This. I knew. Yeah, I knew Alex that one. What? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Why would you name any dog after a? Co- okay, well they are that color, but. <laughs> But, but Steve see, isn't colored see? Steve. So, so <laughs> since the pink Yoshi is a guy, does that mean Yoshi is a girl? I could see it. I mean, Some questions were never meant to be answered. And this is why I've dedicated 10% of my life to answering this question. You're never going to. You're not gonna I'm not going to know. It's, it's not going to get there. You can go interview Shiggy, I'm sure, but he's going to be like, Ooh, I do not know. So we're back with the Y Fighters, and I'm CC Lee, and I'd like to start, uh, guys, by making a public apology to Nathan's friends. They, uh, yes! they, uh, they hashed me out. I was wrong. Magenta is a girl. I solemnly apologize. I will, I will forever be, forever be mistaken, and never be able to take that back. And you know, it's just sad, guys. They hate you now. I know. The council is pleased. I know. I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Uh, Nathan, you got some damage control, too. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say that we were uh, <laughs> taking out pot shots, but honestly, it's not really taking out pot shots because, uh, honestly, we were just kind of making comments. and I was going with you know the, the friend's comment. Oh. I, oh, I you mean I have to go back on that? <laughs> I'm not going back on that. Well, yeah, no, Nathan I does like not this. go back on friendship. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I see. No, I seriously have to go back. We are all best friends. I'm kidding. There's a reason why we're all uh, here. Yeah, we're all here. <laughs> we're all here. We're all here. Yeah. Uh, but for the record, Nathan coughing is my Pikachu. You just call me Nathan coughing. Coughing. Thank you. <laughs> coughing. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, yeah, so I just, I, I just wanted to make that apology to Nathan's friends in particular because they were the first to realize that I was mistaken and therefore they deserve the credit for hashing me out. Um, good work, guys. Yeah, good good, good work. Um, so now next up we have uh, a uh, we have a day in the life of a DM and our DM is none other than Nathan Coffin. So Call he's gonna wizard. he's gonna he's gonna take you on an adventure right now. now you're uh, more like a warlock. Uh, mm, 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 mm. It's it's up in the air. Uh, when I'm not a co-star on a radio show, I'm a dungeon master. Yeah. I spent a lot of time rolling dice and weaving webs of intrigue and illusion. I've killed a lot of people, and I love doing it. But this one tale of murder is the one I did not commit. Hell, I wasn't even the DM. A friend of mine was. Um, the system was called Exalted, and uh, it's this system designed to play with the supposedly infinite potential of demigods. Mortals given godlike powers. Uh, it started way, way back in character development when uh, approached by my DM about the flaws I'd taken. I was asked, are you sure you want to take sun seared so that you can't stand the sunlight and that you actually do take damage when you're outside? Okay. I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Continue. And then she asked, uh, are you sure you want to take climate sensitivity, making you half delirious in hot, humid climates? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm all right with that. So was, far, so good. Yeah, I was making a kid who wanted to be a wizard, despite magic not really <laughs> being real. Uh, okay. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with wanting to be a wizard. Gandalf's one of my You're a wizard, Nathan. Exactly. Fast forward to three months later, uh, magically transported into a jungle world along with my party. So uh, you can kind of see where things went for me. Downhill. Really fast. Was it literally? No. Like, was there a hill in this... Oh, yeah, probably. (laughs) My character doesn't remember anything. (laughs) I'm using my imagination. I'm I'm painting a picture. (laughs) Thank you, though. That's good. At least someone's paying attention. Hey, I'm already there, okay? Okay. Like, I'm there right now. Anyways, so we were lost in the jungle. I was getting carried by my uh, party member, um, Yarbird. And uh, due to being unable to function coherently, um, like, I had to go on his back. Uh, We were tracking my other ally, um... Her name was Alia, who actually got lost in the jungle, and, you know, we had to go save her. Uh, She was actually, at the time, getting the tar kicked out of her by a stone-skinned, two-headed basilisk. So we are like... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We actually didn't know that. But uh, when we (laughs) found it, oh, man. uh, We needed to get some way to track her down. So Yarbird resorts to the only thing he's actually good at when it comes to his survival skills. And he used his sense of smell to track her. Uh, Rolling the lowest amount of dice to possibly succeed... He spins this grand tale of how he tears off his shirt and rubs mint leaves on his nipples, communing <laughs> with the beasts of the wild, the is, squirrels and the bees. And, is yeah, anyone yeah, else going. reminded of Fabio? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as he had written it, communes with his inner animal, the majestic hyena. 
He not only achieves what he wanted to do, he does it in a critical fashion. He gets a critical success on his roll, on his one dice roll, which is like, that's really kind of hard to do. It's one in 20. Completely (laughs) takes everyone by surprise. Uh, Because of him, we burst onto the scene uh, and join the fight. And we joined the fight because um, our friend was incapacitated on the ground, bleeding, dying. To death? To death, yes. Ah. Dying to death. Uh, so he puts me on his shoulders with great gusto. We yell together, Makashiva! Makashiva! That was our battle cry. And we get noticed immediately. Uh, eventually, the guy takes a shot, at, well, the basilisk takes a shot at my friend, gets clawed in the stomach, injures him critically, tearing a hole open in his stomach. And then he tosses me onto the bass, looks back. I'm still delirious. I pretend I'm wizard, hold my staff in uh, two hands, and think, I am Gandalf. And uh, I actually, I copied, aggravated him, you know, whatever. I copied the complete uh, boast from Gandalf on the bridge of Kazadum. As I'm just wailing on this thing. I'm not really doing much because, you know, stone skin. This is while still fighting? Mm-hmm. Yes, this is in the middle of the fight. This is all, like, stunted stuff. It, it, you just get to take a dramatic... Um, creative license. Creative license. That's a perfect way to put it. That is the term. Uh, as eventually, despite being near death, my friend Yarbird manages to toss a bear trap at the basilisk, stating in his active role that if he believes that the basilisk is a, the basilisk is a bear, the trap will work. And it does. Uh, he Carson, must have believed. He believed so hard. Oh, my God. I was, we were dying on the floor because he's just like, he goes off on tangents. We don't even know what the hell he's talking about. Peter Pan's got nothing on this guy. Oh, yeah. No, he was, just, he was in his own world. Whoa. Uh, crushes its head, kills it. Yarbird bleeds into unconsciousness. I pass out from heat exhaustion, and Dahlia dies. So, like, <laughs> half of your party dies in this one... Well, no, we didn't die. We just went unconscious, except for her. She she did die. Oh, okay. Uh, well... No orcs were harmed in the making of this story. You're right, because there were <laughs> In any case, um, it was a, sec- it was a success, because uh, we killed the basilisk bear. Yay! Yay! Hey, hey, we all cried about the dead girl. Well, of Aww. course. Rip in peace. Was that the only female in your party? No, no, we had another one, but we don't like to talk about her. Oh, all right then. I can save that for another day, but that's... <laughs> She's a meanie pants. Oh, yeah, no, mm, mm. There are things I could say about her that my friends have filled me in on, and my God. That's uh, that's nice. that's really off topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that's for next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a great day in the life of a DM. I'm very much so looking forward to next week's day. Me too. Um, but uh, right now we've got some gaming releases from Alex. Alex? Me? Yeah. That guy? Yeah. Love that guy. Yeah, that guy's great. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh... Tell us what's next. Some big stuff. Ooh. And when I'm talking big, I'm talking... Galactus big? Like, large. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Like, we're looking at an <laughs> apple compared to a pea. Oh, yeah. All compared right. Compared to so, a pumpkin. Uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I wanted to be part of the conversation. I'm sorry, see. Compared to a... Oh, yard Silence pumpkins. in the ranks. See, Jeff is trying to be part of the conversation too. I just like pumpkins. Oh, what's it's part the, of my heart, though. What's okay. on the? What's so, on the? All right. So, so number one, news. number one yeah. game here. Radar. A lot of people probably really excited for this. We got Assassin's Creed Four. <gasps> Black flag. Black flag. <laughs> And no, not that really wicked album, but uh, <laughs> this really awesome Assassin's Creed game. And uh, you know, I I've, I've played a few of them. Uh, I find the games do get a little repetitive, but uh, I like how this one looks really interesting. Uh, Jeff, you you were talking to me about Assassin's Creed. I am a fan of the series, and I have pre-ordered it, and I'll be trying to review it by next Saturday. Perfect. So I'm assuming that when we cosplay, you're going to cosplay as Assassin's Creed characters? I never said that. Well... I'm not one of those you know, no? super obsessed fanboys well, of the series. I just thought it would be a good idea. Do I it. like history. You wouldn't be lying to us, would you, do Jeff? It. I would do it. If I find stuff in your closet, if I find, <laughs> I'm going to find an Assassin's Creed outfit. If you just find Assassin's Creed outfits in my closet, I am content with that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, true enough. True you enough. haven't found like my you know, bat cave entrance? There's a bat cave entrance? There's always a bat cave Did you not there's listen many, to our intro? Entrance. No, but I mean, <laughs> like, we are I'm right saying now? in Jeff's room there's a bat cave entrance. He lives in an apartment. Where did he put it? It's the secret entrance to the uh, CKDJ. I mean, the Wi-Fi fighters meeting room. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's separate. This is like our 
Oh. So, Alex, are, say, are you cheating on us? Yeah. Uh, are, Alex, are you Alex. excited for this game then? I actually, I'm very excited. Uh, I stopped playing the games a few, few, uh, you know, a few Sorry, games yeah. back. Uh, but um, this one looks really interesting because it's um, it's based in 1715. So it's it's all about pirates, and you essentially you're a pirate assassin. You know, you're not just the old uh, run of the mill. Oh, I'll go around, I kill people. In no, the Caribbean, right? He's a pirate. Yeah. Yar. So this assassin knows how to party. I hate you. Our <laughs> yo ho. I was just like saying pirate lines. Yes, uh, and uh, it's actually. M for mature, not a rated R. Ooh. Or M for your yeah, mind. I, oh my god, I just got that. I'm so mad at you right now. I've been waiting to make that joke for a while. Next. Uh, yeah, so you're, you're a pirate. You drink rum, you got your cool swords, uh, you got the, the flintlock pistols, which uh, I'm really, I'm actually I'm really excited for though. Are there yeah. any other uh, interesting games on the radar, sir? Oh yeah. Yes. Really? So back on another fourth uh, game. Oh wait, just so everyone knows, that's coming out on uh, October 29th. So, if you haven't pre-ordered uh, Assassin's Creed 4 now, three days. And three if days, you don't have any money, start looking for a job. Don't buy it from Go Amazon. Go into the couch. You can start pirating. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't pirate the game <laughs> online. <laughs> but, uh, sorry. I got so many pirate jokes. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> no, no, we're done. So, like six pages more to go. And also friends. coming out on... October 29th, a really Ooh. special day. We got Battlefield 4. Weird, Ooh. you know, both those games, number four, coming out in 29th. So uh, Battlefield 4, a lot of people, everyone's looking forward to this. If, uh, if you're a big fan of Battlefield 3, it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it looks essentially the same, but, you know, more stuff. It's, it's going to be more, uh, uh, re- looking at all the reviews, you, you can do more. This more things are going to be possible. Hmm? This one's got a four. Yeah, this in is it. four. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be, you better you know, there's probably tons of DLCs and all that shabazz. It's one step better than the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how they go. Come on. Mm-hmm. It's so good they made another. But uh it looks Again. really well done. Uh I feel I, like I'm the only one not looking forward to I stopped, this. I stopped playing <laughs> Battlefield for or sorry, I stopped playing Battlefield after Battlefield nineteen forty two for the PC. Am I right? Best game Ooh. ever. No. That game rocked. <laughs> no. Yeah. Alex, Nathan. Hey, man. Oh, I'm dropping. I'm dropping. All right. So, uh, and uh, yeah, so those are the two games that will be coming out. And uh, for anybody who likes superheroes, <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at you two. <gasps> uh, Injustice. A lot of people have been rocking that game the last uh, last year or however long. And uh, so on November 12th, the Injustice Gods Among, Gods Among Us. Gods Among Us. The Ultimate us. Edition will be coming out. So, really? Uh, I mean... I how, know, how Ultimate is it? Uh, on a Digimon do? scale? <laughs> on a Digimon scale. Yeah, oh, right. it's, that's it's, that's it's a right pretty there. big scale. It's Ultimate. It's do past I, champion. My only question, do I get superpowers with this? No. There'll be a DLC. No. There'll be uh, radiation poisoning in the package. So yeah, yeah. what Alex is saying is, if you have the money for it, then yes. Yeah. If you already have a copy, well, go buy a second copy. <laughs> in fact, if you have Injustice right now, you come, you come give me that Injustice game. Drop down to CKDJ, and uh, you give me that game, and then you go buy this game. And then every week can play and be friends. And Yeah. So uh, that's going to be November 12th. Mario so, uh, Kart fun. Mario Kart, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, those seem like uh, really good games. I'm, and, uh, I'm looking forward yeah, to Yeah, that's my game, uh, upcoming game releases. So uh, get get those uh, pocket change bags ready. We yeah. have jobs, buddy. We don't need pocket change. Anymore. Not all of us have Not jobs. Us. I'm a poor college student, oh, along sorry. with 98% of the people here. I forgot my place. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I forgot to check my place. Gandalf. What? <laughs> don't even talk about Gandalf in front of me. I love Gandalf. Don't worry, man. Okay, you good. talking smack about Gandalf? I was more of a Gandalf the Grey guy, though. Really? Yeah, uh, when he no. went all whitey, we, you know, it was just like, <laughs> eh, man. You all right, guys, you're going off on a Sorry. tangent again. Uh, I'm uh, having Gandalf. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Oh, yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's move on to uh, TV, movies, and comic news, uh, which is uh, you and I, Jeff. Oh, yeah. So uh, you got anything to talk about? Because, uh, Jeff and you? I yeah. Because I am really, Alex, I'm really excited for the upcoming Swamp Thing annual comic that's coming up. Are you excited for that? I just love Swamp Thing. I haven't read up on it. I just love saying Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing! 
and apparently Nathan loves saying it too. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know how many of our listeners are actually, you know, comic book fans, but Jeff and I are huge comic book junkies. We actually spend a lot of our time at the comic book shop. Yes. Which we should stop doing. With two Ps. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, just thought I'd drop that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Swamp Thing. Uh, I, I haven't read a Swamp Thing comic in six months. I don't think me neither. Yeah, so, uh. But that's because we're, you know, broke students that can't afford comics. That's true. Even though they only cost, like, four dollars. Am I the only person who feels bad for the Swamp Thing? I bet he has a name. No one, (laughs) no one bothered, like, He does have a name. What's his name? Swamp Thing? None of us can remember it yeah. because we always refer to him as Swamp Thing. Yeah, it's just like, oh no, Swamp Thing. You know like, what? I bet you one like, of Nathan's hey, friends is Chad. probably really going to tell guy, him actually. the name and uh, hash me out for not knowing the name of Swamp Thing now. And then Guys, they're going to drill on. me too. It's not going to be fun. Help me out, Skype. Come on. Come on, tell Skype. Tell me the answers. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to that <laughs> later. Uh, uh, Jeff, do you have any uh, comic books that are coming out that you'd like to talk well, about? Considering I, uh, his name is Alec Holland, by the way. Ah, there Thank it is. God. Because my internet can work very quickly. Good for your internet. <laughs> anyway, as far as the comic news, next week, uh, DC is releasing a new book series, a.k.a. Damien, ah. Son of Batman, the Robin that passed away recently. Sounds very exciting. Mm-hmm. Sounds tragic. Uh, and exciting. Yes, in the comics world recently, as far as DC is concerned, a big event happened a while back, I think roughly six months ago, give or take. I'm probably off by a month or two, but bear with me. Uh, They killed off Robin yet again in the... How many dead Robins is that now? Technically, I'm going to say half. Because uh, when I say a half a point, I mean just like one died and then came back. So it's kind of that weird 50-50. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Death is Fair enough. Movement. Has Nightwing Death ever died? or No. No, no. he doesn't die. He's no, he, 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 he doesn't die. Right Jason on. Todd, who died last time, and he's now Red Hood. Which Red Hood? It's a great series. I strongly suggest trying to find that Under in a storyline. But anyways, hmm. Damien, son of Batman, it's telling the tale of what would have happened if Damien grew up, and then what sparked him to gain the cowl rather than maintain being Robin after a tragedy happens. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to be pretty good. I want to get it. Here's hoping I do end up reading it, but I strongly suggest you read it. I will probably read it. I will probably be at the comic book shop with you Mm. reading it, so uh, that's what's going to happen. As far as TV (laughs) news comes up, I'd like to take a little time to talk about The Walking Dead because, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of zombies. Anything zombie-related, even if it's really, really terrible zombie movies, I still watch them because I have an obsession with them. Um, But The Walking Dead, the next episode is tomorrow for uh, all of those who watch, Mm. and I'm uh, super excited. I'm a little bit sad, though, because they killed off all the little piglets last uh, episode. It was it was sad. They could have been really good bacon, but instead they were fed to the zombies. So, um. you know, that that happened. Um, but if you're looking forward to the episode tomorrow, I hope you watch. And I uh, you can definitely tweet me or Facebook me if you're watching that. Because uh, I'd love to hear about your feelings about that show. And speaking of TV, uh, Arrow last week dropped a big name. A bomb, if you will. A bombshell, I'm going to say. Ooh. The name being Raish Al Ghul. Mm-hmm. For those who aren't... I don't think people know that name very well. Do you want to elaborate? He is the guy who got t- basically trained Batman to be Batman. In other words, the fighting style that you know terrifies the pants off of everyone. Well, doesn't Batman have over like 174 different types of martial arts that, that he, he knows? Does, but this is the guy who helped him blend them all into a well-oiled machine. So like a collective fighting style kind not, of thing. Not the League of Shadows guy. This is the League of Shadows Oh, it guy. is. Oh, okay, I want to make sure I was... Well, it's League of Assassins, technically. Oh, okay. Speaking, it's that guy. The guy, Qui-Gon Jinn of League of Shadows. I would say yeah. Yoda. Oh, the, the a- you know, the, the actor. <laughs> uh, what's his name? The, this guy is essentially the emperor if we're using Star Wars terminology. No, okay then. Yeah, they dropped that name. Not too shy. I hope that he makes an appearance. 
We shall see, I suppose. I will nerdgasm if that happens. Mm. And how many nerdgasms will you have at that point? 74 consecutive ones. Wow, that's a lot. It's like just the entire like duration of the actual like episode where you de- debuts. You're just no, going to like nerdgasm the, the, the like entire time? Oh. Sh- it's going to be 74 right in that second. Wow, that's a lot. Um, My brain might explode. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on watching that. Um, uh, I'll be watching that. Okay. I'm gonna, well, I'm overselling my reaction to it, but I'll, I'll I'll definitely have a grin on my face. You're you're excited. Yes, it's natural. So uh, that's when that's what's coming up in uh, comic book and uh, TV news. Just so you people understand what we were yes. talking about, if you just tuned in. Um, but uh, now I'd like to ask Alex and Nathan for a little bit of a setup for our next segment. Because we are going to do a Who Would Win segment. In a world <laughs> when two <laughs> ultimate powers <laughs> clash, <laughs> this is <laughs> Who Would Win in a Fight. <laughs> that was great, guys. <laughs> so uh, today's topic of Who Would Win, we're doing a Batman versus Iron Man. I know this has been done a lot, but we're going to do it here on air so that you can all listen to our beautiful voices. Um, yeah, and, and our expert opinion. Yes. Neutral, now, uh, neutral parties over here. Yeah, right? neutral parties will be Nathan and uh, Alex over there, and uh, Jeff and I will be doing the actual fight. Jeff will be mm-hmm. taking the position of Batman, whereas I will be taking the position of the clearly superior Iron Man. Whoa. Yep. Right. Threw, it there, Whoa. threw it out there. Threw it out there. All right, all right. Let's get it on. <laughs> wait, wait. Before we start. I, I'd like to say before we start this, you know, as more of a disclaimer, both Sierra and I, sorry, CC Lee and I, uh, are fans of both characters? Ex- extremist Very. fans. Very I, I, I really like the whole playboy billionaire philanthropist kind of thing mm-hmm. that they both play. Even though, uh, you know, different approaches. Batman really acts more of the playboy part. He's not really a playboy himself. Yeah, well, he's just that good. Anyway. Um, oh, sure, sure, sure. Whatever we're, we're you want to say. We're neutral in general, but right now we're going, I guess, hostile. Yeah, okay. So, uh,. I don't know. Round one. Uh, round one. Uh, uh, let's set the scene here. Um, mm. First of all, we're going to go with a basic one-on-one fight, obviously. No uh, teammates, no no Robin for you. Yeah, and no Avengers for you. No Avengers for me. <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to go... We're not going to be limited to the New 52 or the X-Men versus Avengers comics. We're not limited to any of that. We have all of our... Super abilities and or gadgets, gadgets at our disposal. and inventions, <laughs> and uh, uh, setting the scene. We are uh, we're just in. Uh, let's let's pick a city. Pick a city, Jeff. Ooh, we have to pick something neutral. Yeah. Because all right, Detroit. Detroit. Okay, Detroit like sounds like a good city. Right. And uh, <laughs> I guess uh, city. Okay, it's a, it's a one on one battle. Well, so Detroit who, is bankrupt, whoever wins so first. Uh, two billionaires in there is probably gonna. So let's do a little bit of background first. Uh, tell us a little bit of background about Batman for those of the uh, listeners who don't know about Batman, which you should. But just if saying, you don't know about Batman. Just give them a background. Rock just give them years. a quick background, Jeff. <laughs> he is. The first billionaire playboy in history, as far as comic books are concerned. Second comic book hero in existence, I might add. Yeah, that's right. I dropped that bomb. Oh, it wasn't much very... It wasn't a big bomb. Sorry. Whatever. Yeah. World's greatest detective. His parents died when he was the age of nine. (laughs) I'm having to do this all off the top of my head. Uh, He trained his entire life to avenge their memory and... Right the wrongs, sorry, not right the wrongs, make his city better, Gotham City, which I think is a really cool title. It was and yet he a, isn't making his city any better? Like It was in horrible condition before him. It's the best he can do with what he's got, been given. Yeah, that's true. Gotham City Police doesn't do much, do they? No. Uh, yeah. Um, Except so, Jim Gordon. Well, that's one guy versus a whole city. Yeah. And he's not Batman, so no. so he can't do much. Um, as far as Iron Man b- background goes, uh, he was kidnapped by terrorists and gravely injured. He actually had shrapnel pieces going for his heart, but he made an arc reactor alongside another scientist to save his heart and uh, eventually made a suit of armor to, you know, defeat the bad guys and release himself from being kidnapped and therefore was born into a new as Iron Man. Uh, that's your little bit of, you know, background history for that. And uh, let's start. So... The scene is set. We are in Detroit. We are pinned up against each other. 
one of us has to win or the city is destroyed. What's going to happen? Well, that's kind of silly because technically we're going to destroy the city anyways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In yeah. The process. Right. But I really don't know how to start this bout. Hmm. Well, let me just start by saying that, uh, you know, they're both on pretty equal levels as far as intelligence goes. Coming from different universes, obviously, one coming from Marvel and the other one coming from DC, it's a little bit hard just because Marvel Universe has more mm -hmm. geniuses than the DC Universe does. Alrighty. Well, anyways, as far as... I, I've got to think like Batman right now. Think so like Batman. Be, be Batman. Be the, the Batman. The Dark Knight. Alright. Alright. Talk in her ass me voice. I'm going to talk like this for the next... Where's the trigger? Minutes. <laughs> Where's the trigger? I can't do it. My, I, I'm not a smoker anymore. I can't. You tried. Anyway. You put the effort in. <laughs> I'm not Batman. <laughs> but. You're not? No. On weekdays. Okay, so but, <laughs> so you, I will give you the All first right. move. Well, I'm going to. Because yeah. Batman always Shadows. takes the first move. I, oh, okay, fine as then. As Batman, you know, do my background research on this Stark character, figure out his. Ooh, weaknesses, I guess. His drinking problems, I might add. Oh. <laughs> you think that hit's going to hurt me, his but it so Jarvis's, does not. <laughs> his pepper potses, the fact that he's in a tin can. Yeah, should we touch on your daddy issues? I talked about it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the daddy issues are pretty obvious, and you've got daddy issues too. Uh, that's true. Uh, okay, well, the thing about Iron Man, though, is, uh, you know, he injected himself with extremist techno-organic virus, which allows him to actually have the suit in his bloodstream so he doesn't even need to put on the suit before going off to fight you he could be just you know tony stark going around oh look it's batman he's coming up to fight me oh well you know i'm just gonna change to my suit right here i got two words for you to was the suit just a, just a peer well uh, the thing about it if, if if you've read the iron man comics which i know a lot of us haven't um he when he injected himself with this virus it actually allows him to you know the the nanotechnology of it actually allows the whole suit to come out of his bloodstream and therefore just form around his body. That sounds painful. Uh, yeah. He's fine. He's fine. All right, then. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Decent. I got two words for you as far as a counter to that. Utility belt. Oh, you're bringing out the utility all belt. That's all you got? That's all you got? Come on. Well, I got some other th tricks up my sleeve. All right. So, uh. Well, it's going to just nip that in the butt. <laughs> yeah, how is it going to nip it in the butt? Tell me. All right, I gotta... Because your EMP is no longer effective, so don't I even never, try to use that on me. I never said EMP. Well, just saying. I'm going with a magnetic polarizing device, which is just you know, a device I didn't really figure out how to say the actual word. So I just used device instead because the pronunciation was kind of annoying for me. But regardless takes the iron, the metals from your bloodstream and strip strips it out oh not on your command hmm. in other words tearing hmm. you limb hmm. from limb Ooh. i see what you're trying to do here i see what you're trying to do here what you don't understand about this nanotechnology and this techno organic virus is that it also allows iron man to uh you know recoup and regenerate his organs so even if you tried to take it out of him he'd just regenerate it I'm saying but that if they were organs, ripped out. <laughs> everything's gone. How does he Your regenerate? skin's gone. Your it, skin's it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. The gone. science of it does not work that way. Your bones aren't even together. No, it doesn't work <laughs> that way, unfortunately. Unless you can explain the exact science of how it would work that way, Tony Stark would have made a preventative measure for it. Give me five minutes. All right. <laughs> yeah. You've got five minutes. Go. Well, I mean as far as prep <laughs> for that. But I'm not Batman. He would have thought something up. Uh, and Tony Stark would have thought it was preventative measures for that. Alrighty. Oh. Really? Yeah. Against the world's greatest tactician. Oh, I thought I thought it Sorry. was the world's greatest detective. Can be both. Huh. Because I, I don't think he is the world's greatest tactician. Really? No, I would argue that he's not. I would argue that there are better tacticians. Name two. I don't have to name two. You uh, can't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, better tacticians. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, for one, uh, there's Pym. Really? Hank Pym? I feel like Hank Pym could be a better tactician. Ant-Man. Ant-Man could be a better tactician. Ant-Man. Yes. Sure. Yes. How so? Yes. His intellectual level is by far greater than Bruce Wayne's. Whoa. <laughs> intellect does not necessarily mean application of said intellect. Give me a tactitional thing where, 
okay, give me a tactician for Batman where he's actually aside from Superman. Aside from opposing Superman, because he used kryptonite, which is an unfair I advantage. I never actually go with that argument. Okay, give me you another should. fight where he's actually, like, given a tactical advantage above someone. You mean given or Just takes, m- takes an, a tactical advantage. Doesn't Batman own a giant corporation full of military equipment if mm. he could just go into this giant military database? And no, he doesn't it? own that at all. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he does. That, you're no? mistaken no? him for Iron Man. Yeah, no. Iron Man owns the tactical See, Batman doesn't need it. He is. Well, Batman's company would make it, though. No, it. that's, again, Iron Man. Iron Man makes all the tactical too. weaponry. Huh. Regardless, uh, Darkseed, for instance, he didn't have the advantage initially with against an Omega Beam, which is a laser from Darkseed's eyes. Are you saying my lasers would not work? Is that what you're trying to say here? No, I'm ex- answering your initial <laughs> question. But more like killing two birds with one stone, you know, like Batman would. Anyways, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the Omega Beam, as I was trying to explain, is a laser that will always hit its target, yet the man dodged it. Not too shabby for a guy in tights. Now let's think about this in real life. Would that actually work in real life? That's not fair. Technically speaking, an Omega Beam doesn't even exist. Oh, I'm Therefore, just saying. This- I'm just saying. I don't think All right, neither can Iron Man exist in real life. That's true. That's <laughs> completely fair. Okay, but both uh, on a technical level, I I honestly have to say that Batman has the upper hand. I'll give you that. He's got a lot more, I don't know, he's just, uh, his training was far more extensive than mm-hmm. Tony Stark's or Iron Man, however yeah, you want to put it. I'll give Tony Stark or Iron Man, depending on how you want to wh- phrase it, uh, he's got the resources that could definitely go toe to toe. I think it all comes down to really how much preparation each party has put into this. Mm-hmm. Rep time and the writers. Yeah, I mean, uh, the- and money and yeah. money. Well, yeah. technically speaking, I will give it to uh, I, will, I will give it to Batman. He has a larger fortune than uh, Tony Stark does, and uh, you know, I will admittedly say that, which. You know, it it pains me to say that, but but I'll say it. If Tony ever sobered up, maybe the fortunes would be equal. You are so relying too much on his drunkardness, but... uh, You know what? It's a critical... Well, yeah, because if this is a bar fight... (laughs) (laughs) If this is a bar fight... (laughs) You're drunk. (laughs) Okay, uh, let's take into account uh, all abilities. So... Like I said, stated before, Batman has, you know, what is it, over 170 different types of martial arts that he's mastered and, you know, taken into account for. So, you know, he's got all the dodgy moves. I'll give him his gymnast flexibility. Gadgets. The brain. The Well, I'm not going to say tactical brain, but I'm going to say detective brain. Being a, He's very perceptive. We'll just say that. I just don't think I've... I, I, I just... I, the only problem I have with you saying he's like a super fantastic tactician is I like... In comics, I don't hear it a lot, you know? I don't read it a lot, I don't hear it a lot, I don't see it a lot, so, you know. See, I read the opposite. So. We're clearly <laughs> reading different comic books, then. Really? Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go with, I guess, Iron Man stats, then. Uh, well, Iron Man, again, um, actually, in recent comments, has been considered to have peak human levels, just as Batman does. He's put himself through, again, extensive training. Not the same way Batman has, but in a different way. And uh, when it comes to the Iron Man suit, obviously, you know, it gives him the advantage of having superhuman strength above all armored tac- like tactical abilities. And uh, he can bench press over a thousand tons. Yeah. Still, Batman would whoop his ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really, you know, it's hard for me to say. I, I want to vote for a man just because, you know, I think uh, when it comes down to it, he just like his ability to... The, in, the intelligence he's put into, like, controlling his suits, you know, if he runs out of one suit, he'll just take another one. He's a genius. However, I do like your whole point about the whole ripping your bones out kind of thing uh, with that. I, I do, however, think, given enough prep time, Iron Man would have given preventative measures for that. I think that both would have just made contingencies upon contingencies. It's true. And what it really comes down to, battle. it's it's ultimate preference, you know. Um I have to say that in some circumstances, Batman would win, and some circumstances, Iron Man would win. Uh, in this particular fight, though, it's it's a pretty even match, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. I blame Detroit. Yeah, I blame Detroit, too. <laughs> uh, I got a question, though. Uh, who do you think is a better written character? Ooh. Better written character? I My vote's for Tony Are Stark. Are we talking about... Like, in general, like... 
Uh, in terms of like this guy, actually, like entire story. Yeah, and, no, not entire story. I want to say like recent stories, recent uh, public figure, I guess. Um, who, so like recent publications. So what you're uh, yeah. oh. No, who's more interesting to read about? An alcoholic mm-hmm. who has problems, who's uh, got a suit and tries to be a big time crime fighter, recent- whose girlfriend is still alive, or pretty much. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 or. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much uh, flawless detective mind, uh, millionaire playboy, who really the only thing he's got going for him is like psychological issues at this point. Well, I'm gonna and go with strikes dun, 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 dun. As as recent stories. I have to say, Batman. Okay, that's because I haven't really been following Iron Man in recent days. Though uh. I did read something earlier, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. You know, ever since, but like, New 52 see. came out, though, I've, like, been having some serious issues just with as far as what they've been changing with the background story mm-hmm. and, you know, what they've been changing with the foreground story. And I, I, I don't know. The catharsis of the character, what recently has happened to him, he lost his son, as I mentioned earlier, Damien, and it's taken a major toll on the character. In fact, there was this beautiful scene where Alfred actually slaps Ray- Bruce in the face. I thought it was neat because you never see Alfred. That's one we should do. We should do Alfred versus Jarvis. How about Alfred versus Batman? Alfred versus Batman. Alfred every time. Alfred wins, man. (laughs) (laughs) Done deal. (laughs) That's a stupid question. I'm so sorry. Now, now without the suits, Batman's not wearing a suit. Iron Man doesn't use his suit. Oh, Bruce Wayne would kick Tony Stark's ass. Okay. Six times before you hit the ground. It would be over in a second. Like but we're talking just... about superhero fights, and they would have their suits. So yeah. Um, now this that's not to say that uh, Batman can't build suits because he does have a suit of his own. Mm-hmm. Well, he's um, got technically a couple, but no, he's only got one metallic suit. Yeah. Uh, and where that thing's pretty much designed to. He only has Superman. one metallic suit, and if it was Batman's metallic suit versus the Hulkbuster, I'm sorry, but Iron Man would win every time. Yeah, but he's never had to fight a Hulk. It's the Hulkbuster. Oh, no, I'm saying Batman. Well, maybe he should give it a yeah. shot. <laughs> All right, you know, cross universes, why not? <laughs> well, we're already crossing universes <laughs> with the whole fight. Uh, uh, Bane's pretty close to the Hulk. I would say no, no not Grundy. even on the same level. <laughs> I would say Solomon Grundy's genius. closest. But hmm. if we're going back to geniuses, uh, Bruce Banner is pretty smart. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah that guy's super. Yeah, smart. isn't Ooh. Hank? Uh, That's for like a next week sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> you guys mentioned yeah. Hank Pym though. He's he's in like the smartest guy. Hank Pym is one of the smartest characters in the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So and he That's... is considered a tactician. And they're making a movie. Are they? Yeah, Ant Man. Okay, but uh, back to the whole fight. I, I I weigh this one down to a draw, honestly. Yes. Myself, I think it really is circumstantial. It depends on what city you're in, what suits you have, how much preparation time you've had, and ultimately, I'd like to think, I'd I'm like to think about. that Iron Man would still kick Batman's butt, but uh, I can't be sure. So. Well, uh, as uh, as the neutral parties, what what are your thoughts, Nathan? Uh, um. Where were you leaning towards? I'm all this, saying, it's great. Some great facts on all, all the rounds there. So, uh, just the way that it, I don't know. I think I would say in a fight, Batman, because uh, I'm not really well versed in comics, but someone met, someone said preparation time, and honestly, the only like image I have is Batman being prepared for everything. Like that's kind of like a thing that people... Isn't that one of his taglines? That is his tagline. Yeah. Uh, his tagline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prepared it. for everything. Like yeah, He's got so... shark repellent in his uh, utility belt. Who yeah. walks around with that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so you're, going, you're going with Batman? I, yeah, hell yeah, I'll go with Batman. I now, love the alcoholic. Okay. But... <laughs> okay. Now, uh, Sierra, Sierra put a lot of information that I did not know about Iron Man, all that nano stuff, so that's some... Really game-changing stuff, but... Uh, do I'm, remember he can regenerate organs, yes, people. That's yeah, a, this is uh, a big thing. Like, can Batman regenerate organs? No, no. Batman doesn't need But Batman organs. just uh, goes, well, uh, uh. I just invent machines to fix my legs and all that stuff. So, but I'm going to have to give it to my man, Batman. Because uh, he, I feel he so would, lost in this right get, now. He would strike terror. Okay, so Tony overall, Hurts, Hurts. let's just admit that uh, for and the neutral a- parties, Batman has won. Just whips out the bat, Daniels. Yes. I can't do it now. But <laughs> logically speaking, logically speaking, it does it does come down to circumstance. Yes. And uh, yep. I chalk this one up to a draw, personally. Whoever Jeff? They're both heroes. Wins. I would say it's a draw. It, it, well, 
They're both millionaires. They both got wicked gadgets. And why would they want to fight? They yeah they they probably team up. But we just wanted to throw this at you because it's been done so many times, and we thought it was a good way to start off the uh, who would win a fight mm-hmm. segment of our little show here. So uh, I don't know, Big Jeff. What do you think? You you obviously would love to vote for Batman. I'm, I have to, logically speaking, I'm going with draw. It all depends on whoever gets that lunky punch or kick. In. Yeah. And or, uh, you know, laser blast. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, next we're going to go on to um, some story reviews from Jeff here. So yeah. go ahead, Jeff. Well, the story review for this day is the new 52 update that we've been complaining slightly about for so long. I've <laughs> been complaining a lot. She has been. Yeah. But, you know, it has done some justice for things. Now, just a little uh, explanation as to what this new 52 that I've, we've been talking about is. DC, a few years ago, decided to revamp 52 of their titles, uh, some of which including Batman and Superman. The, basically, the big names in the industry, uh, sorry, in the company. They Well, not only the big names, Jeff. I mean, they revamped Starfire, too. That, too. But she's technically considered a big name nowadays. Well, not nowadays, but... Ever since Teen up, Titans yeah. hit off, yeah, mm-hmm. I suppose so. But even some of the lesser knowns have gotten it, like Deathstroke? Definitely, like... Yeah, that's my boy right there. <laughs> Love the death stroke. Really? Uh, that's or, my boy. <laughs> for me, like... Really, the, Alex? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody's played this really awful game called Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Oh, oh I've played that. Oh, yeah. I take don't. my death stroke and I just own... Oh, <laughs> don't, don't base your opinions on this, man. Don't. Come on. I love that. Yeah. It's got a sword and a gun. And When DC originally did this revamp, there were two names that actually stuck out to me as far as the revamps themselves. And one of them I'm going to get a lot of guff about, but I do not care. Aquaman. Mm-hmm. I hey, like there's the- nothing wrong with Aquaman, okay? People give him a lot of heart, but, you know, like, can you control all the fish in the sea? Like... He could just be like, shark, eat that guy. And, mm. you know, the shark would eat that guy. When it comes to this revamp, though, it's Jeff John's writing. I'd like to also add he spells his first name the same way as me. That so. makes you happy, doesn't uh, it? It does make me happy. Oh, wow. Someone uh, else spells it. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this guy single-handedly wrote him as a complete and utter badass. He does have a different outfit now, too, eh? I strongly suggest if you can find an online copy or a actual physical copy i've been trying to find a physical copy of it for i think like two months now no luck no luck but when i read it online it was beautiful i had b- before reading this thought aquaman was a joke now my entire perspective's changed same thing goes for the flash i was a bit skeptical as far as the character but now as far as personality and what he's gone through ugh. and i've even gone back and done research on him from I just have to pose the question, who in this group likes Aquaman, aside from Jeff? I uh, watched Batman Brave and the Bold. I'm a, I'm a mermaid man and barnacle boy <laughs> kind of guy. I saw that coming a mile away. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I go for them than the uh, Aquaman. Yeah. I like Aquaman. I like we should do man. Aquaman versus mermaid man and barnacle boy. Oh, it wouldn't oh, even be. No. They got the conch. <laughs> the, the magic conch. Oh, oh, yeah. They yeah, they could totally get away in that invisible boat. They, they defe- you know? And they got, they they defeated, got, and they got uh, Spongebob. They defeated the dirty bubble. The Spongebob defeated the oh dirty bubble, God. actually. Ah, uh, that's true. They they yeah. defeated the dirty bubble first, and then Spongebob defeated that's the That's true. They did bubble. defeat him many times in the past. The I'm sorry, Jeff. Know, though, I'm sorry. Really I know scary. everything about Spongebob Square. <laughs> sorry. You well, want to sing the well, fun well, song with me later? Please, no. Not now. F-A-S. Later? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess with the new revamp of uh, New Fifty Two, it's been it's been hard for a lot of us comic book lovers just because you know all of the background stories have actually had most of them have had like a momentum change to mm-hmm. them, and it, the it's been difficult. Character costume designs, yeah, drastic changes, but a lot of you know fans have enjoyed them. It's been extremely difficult for female comic book lovers just because the yes. new character vamps have caused um, quite a stir. Quite a stir, just because you know they're a lot skimpier. I'm not saying skimpy is bad. Some of the misogynists. Oh, not. I'm not male saying male that, Alex. I'm hand. just uh, okay. just saying uh, men seem to be more macho and women seem to be less clothed. Not really seeing Even the balance. Scenes, it's very not odd. seeing the balance. America. I mean, I know Starfire. You know, has you know, America. she she relies on the sun as her power source and is therefore she? her inner core is her heated. But, but you that, know, it just by that argument, Superman should be you know in just 
underpants. Yeah, exactly. He should just be wearing underwear. That's it. Didn't uh, didn't Superman go in the sun once and come out like a god? I'm not thing? even going to get into that. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that. that. I'm not going to touch that. We're not going to touch That's that. That's just a long conversation for another day. <laughs> it's uh, it's not even, it's not touchable. Nope. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but as, uh, yeah, as far as the new vamp goes, I, I think it's been good for a lot of comics and writing, a lot of comic book lovers. For the writing, yes. Visuals, it. Debatable. Yes. It's debatable. I mean, there's been a lot of downsides. And as far as I mean, I'm, the male characters go, they look great. Mm-hmm. They look, I, yeah, I think they look great. I just, but maybe I'm spending a little too upside, much time focusing on their muscles, but you know. <laughs> on the upside, there are some female characters that have gotten a tasteful update as far as their clothing. For instance, Black Canary is no longer wearing the long, the fishnets and just Yes, that's true. That's true. He's got like full blown armor. Yeah. So that's a bonus. Yeah. And And it it appears to be like a latex undertone suit kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's tasteful. That's true. It's more tasteful. Uh, It really, again, it comes down to preference, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's what you like. But that's what we've got for story reviews and what's happening with the new 52. Hope you liked it. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Now we've got Nate with the webcomic of the week. Nate? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I it's okay. totally just kind of... Zoned out? Yeah. I, I <laughs> You were there, but not there. Well, once someone mentioned the magic conch shell, one of my friends said, it's pronounced conch. I was like, what? And I what? Actually, I was Googling it. I was actually Googling it. Is it pronounced conch? It's actually pronounced conch shell. The magic conch. Yeah, so everything. We oh, okay. Have. So like, I get to hashed out. That episode to and this guy. Alex just gets. This is how you pronounce it. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna have to talk to your friends, Nathan. Uh, it just happened. Come on. <laughs> uh, so, webcomic of the week. I want to give my rec- recommendations. My divine, absolute blessing to a special comic that I hope wow. a few of you have already oh, heard goodness. of. It's called Dinosaur Comics. Okay. You What's did about? show me this yesterday. I, I, no, <laughs> Nobody one, showed me this. No, the one I showed you was Nedroid, and that's next week, and it is still hilarious. But uh, Dinosaur Comics, it's it's uh, it's a really – if you want an example of dedication, um, the author, Ryan North, has been like keeping up to date with it for nearly 10 days every year, uh, updating it every, every day. Well, almost every day. He uh, updated. He gave it uh, six point eight years worth of uh, content so far, and honestly, he just takes sprites from the CD of like dinosaur pictures, uh, using the same order of these pictures, like same, like absolutely, like, like see, literally, you could take the first uh, strip and it's just, it's the same layout as the like the the newest strip. Anyways, he takes uh, all these same comic ni- uh, nineteen ninety three two thousand three, uh, and he's made. 2,514 of these little strips where literally oh, he just talks about things that interest him on uh, the news. It, it's, uh, it's But really with dinosaurs. Funny. With dinosaurs. It, he has this uh, T-Rex. Don't forget the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, I know. Mm. Uh, T-Rex is his, I guess, I guess it's kind of like... Uh, now, does he use like only your basic dinosaurs or does he really get into the dinosaurs? Oh, no. There's only like three... Uh, Oh, see, see, I was hoping it was more like, you know, there's like three, he was going to give me some really crazy dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. There's three sprites. Uh, there's T-Rex, there's uh, Utah Raptor, and there's Dromoseominus. Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor. Uh, not actually real names. That's just the name he's given them. I was going to say, um, I've never heard of the Utah Raptor. I will have to revisit my local museum and see if there's Utah. a Utah Raptor. <laughs> uh, he also has uh, characters God and Satan. Coming in on uh, just talking about other things. Satan's apparently really big on internet trolling and video games. Yeah, I love uh, that guy. God tries to give uh, <laughs> T Rex all these like moral dilemmas, but T Rex kind of like so, so God's messing with T Rex. God, God is the only person. Uh, well, T Rex is the being... only person who can talk to God. Uh, wow, but, that yeah, no. explains so much. No, they, they, he talks <laughs> about everything. Like I, I think at one point it w- went from uh, like beehives. To idioms, to language decay and language growth, uh, stomping on houses, the argument of original sin. He talks about everything. PB and J or grilled cheese. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, probably. You search through two thousand five hundred fourteen comics, you're probably going to find something about PBJ and you know grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> uh, 
Ryan North, who has been writing this since 2003, uh, has also been doing other books recently. He's getting out into the marketplace, and uh, he wrote this thing called uh, Choose. It was this uh, Choose Your Own Adventure book, um, To Be or Not to Be. And uh, it was really, it was this, uh, I guess, reimagining as a, an, its own book and stuff. It was really cool. Um, he also writes for the Adventure Time comic series, if you guys are fans of that. I don't, I don't know. Um, Sierra, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Adventure Time. I actually uh, cosplayed as uh, Fiona this year. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Though. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. I had no cake, though. He, he loves... Uh, comics. He loves making them and stuff. He's a he's a hilarious writer. Um, but yeah, no, uh, he's still trucking on with uh, Dinosaur Comics, even though he's got like billions of books coming out. And uh, he's always been as uh, hilarious and poignant and just clever as he's always been. And uh, you know, he's he's just gotten better over the years. And if you want to read anything he has, I'm sure you can find it all on his site. Well, on his Dinosaur Comics site, which is quants.com. Uh, that's Q-W-A-N-T-Z dot com. Q-W-A-N-T-Z dot com. You going right now? Q-W-A-N-T-Z dot com. There you go. Uh, you, can, you can just pick up and read any strip you want. Honestly, like they're all, they're all hilarious. And uh, shout out to my boy Ryan North. Even though, you know, he's way too famous for this show. So uh, we're back with the Y Fighters. I'm CC Lee. I'm Jeff. I am Nathan. Who's apparently also a Batman. And that's Alex. Love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Alex Rich. Yeah. Live so, on Seeker DJ. <laughs> y Fighters. Okay, okay, Alex. For our, for our last segment of the day, we're going to do a, a whole uh, movie review, upcoming movies kind of thing, movie story release. Um, so the first movie I want to talk about today, guys, is Avatar 2, which I kind of think is a joke. No offense. Ooh. Yeah. Space Pocahontas. Yeah, Space Pocahontas. I, I mentioned this to the guys just earlier on in the show when we were talking, and I, I, I honestly think this is just big Space Pocahontas. The first one, it was kind of cool. The graphics were cool. The CGI was cool. But the storyline, if you've ever watched Pocahontas, was almost exactly line for line. Like uh, uh, <laughs> I have a theory. As to what Space Pocahontas 2, a.k.a. Avatar 2, is what it's going to be about. Okay, well, I have the plot summary here, so uh, you tell me your theory, and I will tell you if you're right. Space Thanksgiving. I, I also have a theory. Uh, okay, well, it's not Space, space Thanksgiving. Pilgrim. It's not. Uh, Nathan. Space Thanksgiving. My, uh, Nathan? My theory. Uh, I actually got uh, inside information about this one, so you might be surprised. But uh, in le- sorry, in Earth... Uh, John Smith, uh, crap, what's his name? Anyways, is ambushed Smith. by a group of soldiers <laughs> with a warrant for his arrest and presumed dead in the ensuing <laughs> confrontation. And then Pocahontas, I, I mean, Pocahontas. Uh, uh, what's her name, comes back to Earth and, uh, man, what an amazing place. Okay, um. Like, uh, let you hear what I think? Yes, yes, I, I, think, I want uh, to hear what Alex thinks. It's just going to be a really bad comedy of, uh, Jake trying to make it in the business world in the Great Tree you know, he has to wear a tie. And, I didn't know they had a business world in the Great Tree. Yeah, like, well, you know, he's got to get a job. I, I, I don't think they have jobs in there. Well, I, th- I think it's they like just, like, go around and hunt and forage and live out life as, like, natural beings. Isn't that a job, though? I don't know if I just find they that as a job corporate. or just, like... the base is still there, right? The military base, yeah. so they start a big. Uh, page- it's true. The military base yeah. is still there. I wasn't. I wasn't exactly sure what they were going to do with that in the end, but uh, I guess it was there for a sequel. The thing they did, nothing. Actually, yeah, they just didn't do anything. Yeah, um, so, so it's it's actually not going to be based off of Pocahontas two, unfortunately. Damn it. <laughs> and it's also not going to be based off of Jake going into the workforce, unfortunately. Oh, and raising and raising little Jake. Now, if you if you do remember at the end of Avatar, the first Avatar, uh, Jake actually did the whole transformation from the human body to his. Uh, you know, giant blue body in, in where, you know, he gave up his life as a human and therefore he's not human anymore. So I guess we're going to the plot line extends from that and uh, goes on to see the journey of the world throughout, you know, the whole Avatar world. More than just the one little space that they. Yeah, I mean, they did. One. They did only show one segment of it and we didn't see the other tribes or what they do. Oh, yeah, my it, God. Is this journey to the West? Maybe. Oh, my God. Maybe. It could be Journey to the West. <laughs> Ripping off everything. It's really quite possible. 
Uh, the next movie we're going to touch on is Thor The Dark World. Mm-hmm. I am actually super looking forward to this movie just because Same. I'm in love with the actor who plays Thor. But, uh, You're in love with his arms. Yeah, I'm in love with his arms. He's got fantastic arms. Miley Cyrus likes his hammer. No, he, I hate you. She likes <laughs> wow, Alex. Come on. She Just, likes his wow, brother's hammer. Wow, yeah, yeah, it's not his hammer. It's not his hammer. Um, but, you know, I think he does a really good job playing Thor. He you does know? a good Thor. He, uh, he looks the part. He fits the character well, and I think that, you know, in his role, he does a good job. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Do you guys want to see it? Do you want to not see it? I am stoked for this movie as well. Alex, are you going to go see am, Thor? Well, I'm really stoked on Avatar, so I won't be going to see Thor. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that actor. He's horrible. Oh, okay. That's well, my opinion, though. Sorry. Uh, no, know. your opinion is important to me, and I will value Pocahontas. it forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nathan, will you be seeing Thor The Dark World? Uh, I will probably be dragged to go see that. I don't watch movies. By me. Oh, you don't watch movies? <laughs> oh. Best yeah, I'll drag you. Yeah. Yeah. Best friends? <laughs> Our next movie is Jurassic World, which I am also super pumped for because I have been no. waiting for another Jurassic movie for forever. Is this I, for real? Yes, yes, it's for real. It's a real movie. Oh, my God. It's the fourth Jurassic Park movie. So, why fighters all going to see this movie? Yes. 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 Well, Nathan oh. doesn't seem so pumped for oh, this. I guess so! You just talked about dinosaurs. Yeah, you, like, just, you talked about dinosaurs. Just because I like dinosaur comics doesn't mean I like dinosaurs. What if they allude to dinosaur comics in the movie? If Ryan North walks onto the stage as one of the scientists and says, yo, found Utah Raptor, yeah. and then he starts giving a monologue. Yeah, what if there's a Utah right? Raptor in it? I'll be pretty impressed. I might go see it. There may be a Utah Raptor. Who knows? I, uh, I haven't looked into it that much, but you know, next week I will definitely tell you if there's going to be a Utah Raptor or not. Which we did learn, for the record, that a Utah raptor did exist. Yeah, it is a real dinosaur, people. And it was from Utah. Yeah, it was, uh, well, the bones of it were found yeah. in Utah. What I don't know. Is. Yeah. Um, next Anyways. movie up is Batman vs. Superman. Uh, I guess this is a really big movie coming out, Batman vs. Superman. Batfleck! A, a cartoon or uh... no, 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 no. This is, uh, this is going, I think this is going to be a live action. Ben Affleck as Batman. Oh, Oh, no, 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 no it's a cartoon. You're right. It's a cartoon. Oh, it's it's a cartoon. going to be a cartoon. I, I was hoping it would be a live yeah, action. I think that would be good. That wouldn't be coming out for, it, like, it would need, they need, like, at oh, least wait, three years to make that movie. You know? Yeah. Um, if they did make a live action Batman versus Superman, I would definitely go see it. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not really into the whole animated cartoon movies, personally. I am. I am. That's probably am. the one things I will watch. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> all of you will go does. see that. Um, and I will just... Hang back and wait for your reviews because, yeah. yeah, that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm, again, as excited for X-Men Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. I actually really enjoyed um, X-Men First Class. I thought it was one of the better X-Men movies. Fastbender's Magneto for the win. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a huge X-Men advocate. I like to cosplay a lot of X-Men personally. I don't oh. know. I've done Kitty Pride. I've uh, I've I've done Phoenix, you know. I've, I've done a lot of cosplay for X Men, so it's a big thing for me. I apparently have to call you out on this one. Uh, it is actually live action. It is no live way. action. Yeah, yeah, they, they're making it live action. Bat Fleck. I've just been corrected but- by one of my many. Contacts. Batfleck. Okay, but you people ben, are telling me to tell it's not Ben's live action, rumor, but it is right? live action. Well, okay, Batfleck. it's not actually Ben. Tell me, it's. Not are we ben. positive? It ben, it's Ben Affleck. Are we positive that it's live I'm action? It. It's uh, Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, Henry Cavill as uh, Clark Kent. Worst wow. movie ever. Okay, not going to see. All right, I argue that. I'm not ticketing that. When it comes, to, I'm skeptical about. Uh, Thank Affleck. you again to Nathan's friends for correcting me for like the seventh time on air Thanks, today. Guys. Um, uh, you know, I'll be relying on you. Can you just like friend me as well so that I never uh, mistake myself again? <laughs> no, I could just probably add you to like this big chat where like fact check you. Yeah, just fact check CC Lee all the time. That's that. That'll be your job. Shred it on Twitter, everybody. Yeah. Going back to the argument I was having with Alex. Oh ben Affleck. <laughs> ben Affleck. I believe that he can. Do, he has the potential to do. A good Bruce Wayne Batman because mm-hmm. the cowl does most of the work. <laughs> That's okay. Well, if one of the greatest actors, George Clooney, f- like 
that was like the worst mo- right. Batman movie Nips ever. on Batman. You're comparing that to <laughs> yeah. See, really? Can we hash? Can we? Can we just go back to that? Can we hash? Can we not hash me up for that? Because I did say it was a live action, and then someone else commented that no, it wasn't no, a live no. action. You're right. So really, I'm hashing Alex for uh, no. I questioned it. I'm, I'm not to having know. faith I don't, in Ben Affleck. Still I just, I just, yeah, I'm just not. Okay, so it is ben a live Affleck. action movie, and CC Lee will not be going to see it because she does not think Ben Affleck will do a good job. I am skeptically optimistic. Alex probably agrees with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, our final movie to talk about today is going to be Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Super excited because yeah. Bucky's coming back. Mm-hmm. And in Obey, that's going to blow your mind. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. Who who knows about the character Bucky? Anyone? I does. Is he uh, well, like Jeff a, does. Uh, is he a psychic? Is he a psychic status? He was. He was a sidekick, yes. Okay. Yes, he was He was Captain America's sidekick. He fell off a train. Uh, in the movie theater, everyone gasped and was like, oh, he's dead. And I was like, yeah, you don't know anything. But if you read your comic books, you yeah. know. No, no but, one's uh, ever dead. Yeah, Bucky is time. coming back as the Winter Soldier, and it's going to be uh, it's, it's gonna be great. If you've seen the trailer, it's, it, this one's going to blow your mind. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I guess like that's that's really all I have to say about movies this week that are up and coming. But I will tell you a lot more next week, and uh, I will definitely let you know if the Utah soar is going to be Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor is going to be in there. In any case, mm-hmm. uh, this is it for the Wi Fighters for our first episode, our premiere. I thought it went pretty well, you know. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I would say uh, tweet us, say hey, we like the show at uh, whatever, but we don't actually have a uh, Twitter feed set up. So, but we uh, will next week. Next mm-hmm. week, you're gonna start uh, give us give where us you can opinions. tell me all of the mistakes I've made on air. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, we'll make it a trend. Yeah, yeah, we'll do autographs right outside CKDJ uh, for the next ten minutes. So, <laughs> like you guys are ready to come down. So, mm-hmm. thanks for listening, guys. This has been the Y Fighters. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> <laughs>